Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be unboxing this 12 tier over the door shoe rack. First we need to assemble it and then later on we'll give a review on it. So stay tuned. So let me just start by welcoming the new people to my channel and all the returning subscribers too. For the new people, please subscribe and let me begin by telling you a bit about the shoe rack. Well, my fiance wanted the over the door shoe rack that would hold most of her high heels. This shoe rack here holds approximately 36 pairs of shoes. It can be adjusted in size whether you wanted a 4 tier, 8 tier or 12 tier shoe rack. The maximum height of the shoe rack is 180 centimeters high, the width is 51 centimeters, and the diameter is 19 centimeters. So the make of the shoe rack is actually housewares. You'll also find the shoe rack in many other places, which I'll leave in the link in the description below. And many times you'll come across the shoe rack in the name of Whitmore, Premier Housewares, Amos, Kepling, and Ariana Housewares. Basically these are the name of the companies that are selling this product, not the make of the product themselves. So 9 times out of 10 you'll receive a box just like this with Ashley Housewares on or maybe a different name. So let's start the magic and let's get to the unboxing real quick. That's all unpacked, we have 24 poles. Fitting brackets. 6 plastic side frames. instructions came with this kit but it's easy to assemble choose how many racks you need you can choose by one two or three and simply align up the fittings and press down and clip together so that's two shoe racks and so we got the third one again just clip align up the fittings and press down and it should just clip in Next, all you need to do is attach the poles to all of these fittings just here. And now what we're going to do is fit the top part to these poles. Again, what we're going to need to do is line up the side frame, attach the clips, push down, and again, align up the fittings and just push down. So let's just push this camera back, and we're going to lift up the side frame and attach it to the poles. Start from the bottom, going up, and just have patience and click in each pole one by one. Try to line them up the best you can. Some of them are going to poke out like that one just then. But again, give you patience. After a couple of minutes, you should have a fully assembled, except for the brackets, shoe rack. It's not rocket science to build this shoe rack but there's people out there that just want the easy option and many people now just choose YouTube so if there's something that needs fitting together well there's a video for it and in some way I've helped and that's all good again go over it make sure each pole pushed in like there's one here that just popped out once this is fully intact I'm gonna test it out over the door with some shoes I'm going to see if it's stable and sturdy. Now it's time to test it on the top of a door by putting these brackets on first of all. With this door rack you'll see a letter on each frame. You'll see a letter R and a letter L corresponding to which side piece goes together. And where these fitting notches are here, well this is the top of the shoe rack. By attaching these hooks you get two sets of hooks in the pack. Simply grab the first mount, the one with the T-shaped hole. Align it up with the top frame and you'll see a slot on the top frame just there. Slide it down the hole that's shaped like a T. Hold it there, this can also be fitted onto the wall via the screw hole. Then get the top door bracket and simply slide it on sideways then turn it straight. 
and that can be adjusted. Remember, turn to the side and then turn straight to lock. So that's how you take it off. And this part will sit onto the door, just like that. And that will be situated on the back of the door. And it should lock into place and keep this flush to the door. So we're just gonna fit it onto the door and see what it looks like. So grab the first bracket with the T-shaped hole, slide it in, try and get a second person at this stage to maybe hold the other side. Try and keep to the one bracket, trying to hold two and then get two of the brackets in hand is almost impossible. Slide the second bracket in sideways, turn, and then keep the friction pulled up on the shoe rack. Move the door slightly and place over the door. Keep hold of one side and then repeat. Grab the first bracket, slide the T-shaped hole up onto the shoe rack. Turn the second bracket sideways, and twist it straight and lift over the door. And with the second bracket now fitted, the shoe rack is now in place. Once again, you can change the racks for the size of the door, whether you want it for a small door in your bedroom, bathroom door, you can change it to one rack, two racks, or three racks. Well, what's my verdict on this over the door shoe rack? Well, if you're going to be using this door rack on a door, try and keep it to a cupboard. I do find while well, you use it on the bedroom door, opening and closing, it's a pain because these mounts do catch depending on your door frame. Now, what I think about the actual shoe rack is, yeah, it can fit 36 pairs of shoes, and I mean shoes, not boots. This shoe rack won't be able to fit boots except for the top tier here. And when you're constantly using high heels, you will find you will need a gap because they won't fit just like this one here with the pumps. But this shoe rack, if you're female, does look good with the high heels. I don't know about the sketches. But if you're male, yeah, I guess some trainers and pumps will look fine too. I must admit, when you're putting these poles together, I would advise you to put some glue, maybe super glue, in each one of these because sometimes it is an absolute pain when you've rammed some shoes in because you're in a rush and the pole drops out. But apart from that, £10 this shoe rack is really good and it's exactly what my fiance needed. I'll leave a link in the description below. Please drop a like and please subscribe and thanks for watching. Peace.